because I'm just like, damn, I'm really about to do whatever the fuck I think I'm about to do because my baby is in the equation. Everything is over with whenever it comes to my kid. I was going to be a killer. I was going to be a shooter that day. Anything over my baby, I was going to do it. It's Rambo. Will he perform when he has money right in front of him? Run up on that boy and kill his cousin right in front of him. I just tapped his shoulder so I know that he is touchable. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching Miss Angelique TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything, I mean like. First of all, um, a bitch just recovered from COVID. A bitch was sick, okay? But we all good. Everybody's good now, thank God. Y'all know before this video, I was on a roll. Like, I was on a roll and my daughter and her little friend is outside and I don't like when people look at me. I don't care if it's my daughter or not. Is that childish? I was on a roll before I got sick. So I'm going to go ahead and get back on that roll real quick. And at first I wasn't going to even record. I was like, let me just record whenever I get my hair done. But then I was like, you know what, bitch? Girl, do that motherfucking video. Like, do that shit. Girl, what are you talking about? As y'all can see by the title, like, a bitch almost shot her baby daddy. Like, and I know y'all probably like, bitch, which one? Damn. I only got two baby daddies in my defense, you know what I'm saying? The third one don't count, cause he my husband, so <laughs> this is just horrible. I'm talking about the first baby daddy, and if y'all are uh, day one, if y'all know what been going on or whatever in my life over the course of the last 10 years, then you know I'm talking about midget man, little man. I titled the video midget and like buku people was offended, so I'm gonna try to stay away from the midget thing, but he was, he was, a, he was, he was short as fuck. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to go ahead and post the video real quick over here. You're going to have to go ahead and watch that video to figure out how it all began and how I even ended up with a small baby daddy. And I'm like 5'8". The fuck? I'm just going to give y'all a little backstory real quick of like how things have been going. What did I call him? Shoddy. That's what I call him. Shoddy. Yes. Because the nigga was short as fuck. And why are my daughter looking at these little boys? There's a, there was a little, two little boys walking down and she, yeah, y'all better go back over there. It's the audacity for me, bitch. Anyway, <laughs> my daughter didn't have a relationship with Shadi for a long, long time. It wasn't until 2017, which at this time she was like six. Let me see, she was born in 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. She was five, going on six. So that's when me and Gabriel, that's when we first got back together or whatever. And um, I got a letter from the att attorney general, the child support or whatever. And it was like, um, you've been basically ordered to do a DNA test. Now, mind y'all, prior to this, um, like whenever she was like 10 months, um, I ended up, I did end up filing child support, but he was in jail for a while, and so shit never, like, fell through. So, you know, it was, I just, you know, said, fuck it. I mean, I left it alone. Whenever I did find out that he got out of jail, I didn't pursue it. I was 16 whenever I filed child support. And if I was in the same mindset that I am today, I wouldn't ever do it in the first place. But I did it because I think I was trying to get childcare, daycare, something like that too. Um, whatever life went on, I didn't try to go look for him or anything like that. It was just because he he knew he could have found me because I was on social media and he was on social media as well. And I I want to say I I made a story time about this before, but. I did end up seeing him. He came to the house back in 2016. Now that I'm thinking about it, and my daughter's about to interrupt me. What? Wait, like, damn. He found me on social media whenever I guess, obviously, he was out of jail at this point. Um, he found me. I didn't find him. And he started, like, talking to me. But it wasn't really on some, like, I miss my daughter type of shit. It was more so on an interest of me. He came to my apartment. This is when me and Santiago that first broke up or, uh, like, a couple months after that because I had my own place. And he came to my house and saw her. And, like, she didn't know who he was. Um, he did tell her, like, yeah, I'm your dad or whatever. Um, and at this point, she was probably, like three or four and he was more seemed like more interested in Santiago because Santiago was at the house as well and he at this time he was like little he was walking um, but he was still like little probably was, like one he seemed more interested in him like picking him up and stuff which was strange but I you know I don't know I, I just let the time because he wasn't there for long he probably was there for like maybe an hour um, and we just sat and talked and that was that was that he gave Nevea a hug goodbye and you know that was the end of it and after that like I didn't talk to him anymore because 
Um, well, I didn't like hit him up rather anymore because I just felt like it was pointless kind of him to come and like come to my house when I thought that maybe he was gonna try to like rekindle with his daughter but it seemed like he was more into what I had going on and stuff like that so that really turned me off and I was just like fuck it. you know if he hit me up he hit me up but he didn't like he didn't hit me up on no let me see my daughter type shit anything like that so now let's go back to 2017 like I said I got a letter um, from the child support um, telling me that they wanted me to come in to take a DNA test because shoddy he questioned dna i was just like kind of concerned in a way because like why all of a sudden like it's been years and years all of a sudden you trying to figure out if this is your daughter or not but i was like okay whatever let me go ac across the street and around the corner because literally where we lived at the time child support office was literally around the corner so i was like okay bet so one of the mornings before it was time for nevada to go to school nevada is my daughter i took her to the office or whatever and we did the little swab i had to swab my mouth because i guess they wanted to make sure i was her mama too whatever but i swabbed my mouth i swabbed her mouth and, and that was that so um like a month later i ended up getting the results of course the nigga was the daddy like you are the father duh but um i was just like what was the point because now you probably about to start paying child support because <laughs> what was the reason three months later um we ended up having a court date to actually do the child support shit because like i said i already knew child support was going to be coming right after that test and it was mediation like we didn't have any like um we weren't on any bad terms or anything so we were able to be in the same uh, room and it was a mediator and they were basically like talking about um how often he should get her and stuff so at first they were going to just do the regular standard and if you don't know what standard is in texas standard is um the non-custodial parent they have first third fifth weekend or whatever that's what that is and so they were getting ready to give him that and mind you at this point my daughter was six at this time because she had just turned six because so this was march of 2018 that i'm talking about so um that happened and um there i told the lady i'm like well he doesn't know my daughter like he's never been alone with her or anything like that he don't even know what her favorite color is like i would prefer for like you know in the beginning it would be like supervised visits that way he can kind of get to know her and then we can gradually move on to him being unsupervised with her because my concern was that like my daughter was gonna be uncomfortable it wasn't because of him you know i i want wanted them to have a relationship but i i didn't want to just put her out there by herself with somebody that she didn't even know because i don't even know if she remembered the time that she did see him whenever she was three i don't even know if she really remembered that or if she did remember i don't know if she really like knew that oh yeah this is my dad um, it's getting a little hot in here, but I don't want to put my windows down because these kids outside, I don't want them to know my business. The visitation was that, like, we were to meet up every Saturday for, like, the next four to eight weeks, some shit like that, for, like, two hours. It was at a public park right in the area that he lived in, which was Greens Point. Jesus, I keep talking about Greens Point. If y'all ain't much gotta be from Houston at this point to know that every as much as I talk about Greens Point and tell y'all how much of a ghetto it is, like y'all should already know. Whenever I say Greens Point, that's the ghetto, okay? So we in a park in a ghetto, bitch. And um, you know, he playing ball. He had took brought his son with him um at one point too. At this time I was pregnant as well. I was pregnant with Junior. You know, everything was cool. One of them times he bought his girlfriend, but we only did that twice we only did the little meetup twice because he always had like a scheduling conflict or always like i wasn't gonna ask him like okay are you gonna be there because i'm not gonna drive way to greens point to see him to, you know if he's not gonna be there so i would always wait for the okay from him like he'll text me and tell me if it was good he'll text me if, if it wasn't but like i said he only did that twice and so after that it was like nothing like he wasn't talking or calling to see her um, he was to call and talk to her or anything it was more so kind of on his terms and so after the two visits he ended up going back to jail for like a year but and i and i the reason why i knew he went back to jail was because i like stopped hearing from him like every couple of weeks or every other month i'll say i'm not even gonna give him that um he would text me like how my baby girl doing or whatever how my baby girl doing you know what i'm saying just typical baby daddy shit and i'll be like she good and that was that but he wasn't like seeing her and i wasn't gonna force him to like you know it's that's his relationship with her not mine so you know it's up to him i'm not gonna keep him from him and i'm also not gonna force him you know what i'm saying it's, it, it was just 
up to him, bitch. Um, it was Christmas, and I got a call from a random number. So I answered, and it was him. And he was like, hey, it's Shawty. Merry Christmas. How y'all doing? I'm like, I'm gonna be good. And I noticed it was, like, really fucking loud in the back. Like, really fucking loud, as if he was in a fucking auditorium bitch like i don't know it just sound really loud in the background i could hear him but i heard a lot of shit in the background so um he eventually started talking to her i gave her the phone he talked to her that was that um maybe like a couple more weeks later um i got a call from the same number and it was the same thing but but this time i noticed it was like a pause like it was like a, a strong pause before like when I, from between the time i said hello to the time he said who he was it was a pause bitch and i'm just like what the fuck is this pause coming from but it, you know it, it, it was quick enough for me not to hang up the phone obviously because he ended up answering he was like hey it's shawty same old shit i want to talk to the bed but again i heard this loud loudness in the back and i'm just like what the fuck where the fuck is this nigga at every time he called me girl some just told me i don't know who told me this clearly was the lord uh he told me to just go on a website go to harris county mh search and type in his name because i still knew his date of birth i know all of my baby daddy's date of birth i'm gonna know your month year and date i'm gonna know and i'm gonna know your whole name okay so i knew his date of birth and i just typed it in you know and i was just like let me just see i'm not expecting to see anything i'm just just trying to double check girl tell me the fuck why his motherfucking name popped up Bitch, this nigga is in jail. This nigga is calling me the whole time, whole motherfucking time. I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, just out on the, in, a, in the ocean. You know what I'm out at a football game or some shit. Just real busy. Just always got motherfuckers in the background. I, I don't know who the people in the background is, but I just know he always got motherfuckers in the background. But this whole time, this nigga is in jail, bitch. Like, this nigga is in jail. And I'm just like, wow. So you just not going to tell me you in jail? You just not gonna tell me he was in jail okay <laughs> whatever so um he was in jail for for like a year and some change though bitch because the following um christmas and following because my daughter's birthday is right after christmas her birthday is in january and christmas and uh, it's obviously in december so um the following year he was still in jail but i ended up getting a call from his aunt and um she's like an older lady or whatever really 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 nice i met her whenever i was dating him my 15 year old young ass like i met her or whatever she was real nice so she was um she had called me was like hey you know i know it's christmas and the birthday's coming around um, i want to be able to give her some gifts or whatever so long story short we met up and she got she gave my baby um like some money and some a bunch of fucking gifts for christmas and her birthday super nice and she basically was like trying to take over on shoddy's behalf because he the nigga was in jail again uh oh and by the way he was in jail the charge was like armed robbery with a weapon you know what i'm saying so i'm just like this nigga's still robbing niggas because mind y'all the time he was in jail before was for the same shit bitch so this nigga just couldn't get his life together he just kept robbing niggas and kept getting caught like nigga why you keep getting caught why you are a horrible criminal you are a very bad criminal my nigga like what the fuck why is he getting caught for the same shit he eventually gets out i forgot what month he got out but he eventually got out he wasn't consistent still but he would every so often ask to get her so at this point um it was spring break and he was like you know what's she doing and my daughter was like seven eight ish at this time probably was eight no, she was seven going on eight, maybe. Because um, she's nine now. So, yeah, she hasn't been seven going on eight or whatever. And so, at this time, like, I trust my daughter's, like, intuition. Like, if, if she says she want to go somewhere, like, she wants to go. And I felt like she kind of knew him a little bit to know she wants to go and chill with him. So, uh, it was spring break. And so, she was, I asked her if she wanted to, because her dad asked me if it would be okay if she could come over for a couple days because he had his son or whatever. He always got to get both of the kids because he had a son, y'all. So, he always had to get both of the kids at the same time, girl. I asked my daughter, like, would you want to go to your dad for a couple days? And she was like, yeah. So, I'm like, okay. You know, she, I think I was more nervous than she probably was um she probably wasn't nervous at all obviously because she wanted to go but still like i was you know was like okay you want to go go ahead sis go spend time with your daddy go you know what i'm saying i would never you know deprive her from that i was surprised that she was so ready to you know go even though she hadn't 
really been alone with him before but i guess the phone calls and the little two times she had seen him or whatever made up for whatever feeling that she was missing she went over there for spring break she went over there for damn not the whole week because you know spring break is a full week it wasn't the whole week but it was most of the week and um, she had a phone so i was able to like text her and make sure she was okay and stuff whenever i went to go pick her up like she didn't want to fucking go like she was tearing up and shit i'm like oh like she really had a nice time with her dad and her brother and that really was the start of like her wanting to like go over there and her like actually enjoying to be around him and i was really really thankful for that because like although it took him a long ass time to finally do it he did it and i'm not gonna take that from him like i don't give a fuck how long it take you bitch like just do it and then at one point he didn't even have a place to stay because whenever he first got out of jail he was living with somebody she had spent the night over there one weekend and they were sleeping on the couch again who am i to take that away from him as long as y'all not out under the fucking freeway like you're good as long as you have somewhere safe for my baby to be or our baby to be like we're good i want my child to have that father relation with her dad because i didn't have that like y'all know like my daddy died when i was nine i really was just now getting to know him right before he passed i started actually going to my dad's house maybe like a year before he passed i think it was that way because he knew he was sick he knew like it was his time so um that's why we were spending so much time together before he passed away i would never take that from my daughter because like i know what it's like not to have your dad so even if he's not consistent because like he would literally see her probably like maybe three times a year four times maybe um i feel like if i'm me saying four times and giving him a lot to be completely honest which ain't good but it's good enough for us like <laughs> honestly like i don't care if he don't call her for a whole three months and the or whole fucking year bitch i don't give a fuck you want to see your daughter bet moving forward to the bullshit i know i didn't talk the whole lot and y'all like bitch get to the point <laughs> so girl let me tell you this happened earlier this year she went over there like normal i didn't know where he stayed at mind job he had finally got his own place with his girl i would always meet up with him halfway like we would never you know i would never bring her over there sometimes he would come pick her up from my house but it was never me going to his house even though i didn't know where he lived like i always in the back of my mind knew like if i needed to know where he stayed at i can always just track her phone i would always um have her find my iphone or the location rather on for me that way i can see her but some reason it ended up not being on this time and i'm gonna get to that or why i'm even saying this in a little bit but it wasn't on at this time but i always like knew that like if i needed her to turn it on i could just walk her through the steps probably she went over there and whenever she made it she texted me she said she was good or whatever it was a friday that he picked her up everything was good that day now um, Saturday came for the whole you know morning afternoon everything was okay suddenly I get a text from my daughter and she was just like can you come pick me up huh like what you mean come pick you up what's wrong she didn't text me back I call her because I didn't see her typing so I call her she didn't fucking answer so I'm just like that's weird and so I text her and I'm just like are you okay are you sick what's why do you want me to come pick you up and then she replied and she was like my daddy told me not to call you that's why I didn't answer Your daddy said not to call me. What, what the fuck you mean not to call me? What's going on? At this point, I'm just like, okay, fuck what's really going on. Let me just get the fuck over there and get my motherfucking child. All I said was red at this point because I'm like, bitch, what the fuck you mean he told you not to call me? How you gonna tell her don't call me? Me? I went to her location and I noticed it wasn't on. I'm like, fuck, of course it's not on today. I text her, I'm like, okay, I don't know what your daddy said yet, so I need you to turn your location on. I like took a um, screen recording of me doing it to and sent it to her so that she could know how to do it. And thank God she fucking did it. Oh my God. And I saw her location. And guess what the fuck? he lived at just take a wild guess bitch i just want to guess i just want y'all to guess with me i want y'all to know that this dude lived in greens point he's still in greens point nigga probably been robbing the whole greens point area and he's still living in greens point bitch why this nigga still in the ghetto okay bet so now i gotta bring the motherfucking glock because i'm going into a situation that i don't even know what the fuck going on my husband by the way he was at work so whenever i found this out i called him i'm like babe babe i'm 
finna take your gun and I'm finna go pull up on the bear because the bear just told me that her daddy don't want her to call me and she wanna come home but I don't even know why she wanna come home cause I don't know what the fuck going on cause she couldn't answer and tell me I'm about to pull the fuck up I'm about to go pick her up so he like you want me to get off I'm just like nah I'm good I'm good be right back I'm good like I got this I'm gonna take the Glock with me I'm good bitch and that gun probably was heavier than me. You understand me? But I was gonna shoot. I was gonna be a killer. I was gonna be a shooter that day. Anything over my baby. I was gonna do it. I didn't know what the fuck was gonna happen or how I was gonna do it, bitch. But I was gonna do it that day. Because he had me fucked up. I, you know what I'm saying? Follow the directions. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. It was, of course, like damn near an hour away. But it was, at this time, it was nighttime. It was like 10, 11 o'clock at night. So, girl, we was just too ghetto. I had to text two of my friends. I had to put them on game. Game. one friend didn't even live in texas so but i was still putting her on game just in fucking case and then the other friend i let her know i'm like bitch i'm i'm pulling the fuck up she like bet let me know if you need me to come too i'm like nah because i got the clock i got the clock i don't need nobody <laughs> got it bitch i'm driving i'm speeding got my music blasting i'm smoking my black and mild because bitch he got me fucked up and thank god that my sister-in-law well i call her sister-in-law even though she's not with my brother-in-law which i'm not claiming right now but i still call her sister-in-law because we gonna be forever locked in she live with us still right now so thank god she was at the house because that's how i was able to leave the boys as i'm approaching closer to where this man stay at i'm noticing i'm going in the same direction where i used to stay you remember the whole subscriber scenario the subscriber moved in i moved in with the subscriber we moved in together bitch tell me the fuck why he lived directly behind those old apartments not to mention the mental hospital that a bitch had to go into involuntarily within the same neighborhood so all of these motherfucking memories just getting just just coming just coming to me as i'm getting ready to go into a possible violent situation and it's just really amping me the fuck up because i'm just like damn i'm really about to do whatever the fuck I think I'm about to do because my baby is in the equation. Everything is over with whenever it comes to my kids. Like, I don't give a fuck. Everything is done. It's dead whenever it comes to my kids. The location literally pinpoint where she is. I didn't know what apartment he lived in because it was apartments, bitch. So, I followed that goddamn shit. Siri led me into the right direction that day because girl, as I'm approaching closer and closer and I'm looking, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I think I'm about to, about to pull up to it. The first thing I see is his little ass on the fucking balcony with his girl talking. What you talking about? You just told my child she couldn't call me. What 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 are y'all discussing? I wanna know. Call my husband. I had my earphones in because I wanted him to be on the phone with me while I was going into this possible violent situation. Cause again, I had the Glock. <laughs> I had the gun, bitch. I had it. I was like, babe, I pulled up. I'm here. So just just stay on the phone, like. I'm here so I get out the car I, well first before I get out the car I get the gun I put I have my hoodie on it's big ass oversized hoodie bigger than me bitch but the gun was so fucking heavy that like the print you 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 knew I had something in it and you knew it wasn't no motherfucking phone either I just knew that it was noticeable but I ain't give a fuck because again it's my baby as i'm approaching the building they're still outside he don't know who it is you know what i'm saying out at that time yeah so i'm approaching bitch mind y'all i have to put my wig on and everything girl because i had braids on these so i put my wig on to go to the scene bitch he was actually on the second floor um second floor balcony but he was able to look down as i'm approaching where he is i didn't go up the stairs he we make eye contact mind y'all he wearing glasses that day he didn't have his glasses on he should have had his motherfucking glasses on because he claimed he act like he didn't know who the fuck i was but he squinting he looking down he squinting he like is that you adorian that's that's you and i'm just like yeah yeah that's me uh-huh i'm here for nevada what the fuck this is definitely me i'm here to come pick up my child and he like oh okay what's up what's good with it what's, what's wrong i'm like nah i was just in the area i wanted to come pick her up again i didn't know what was going on but i knew he knew something was going on but he was trying to act dumb with me so i was gonna act dumb with him i'm like yeah i was just in the area i'm coming to pick up nevaeh so he like all right so he go in the fucking house and mind y'all he was outside with his girl he walks in the house and leaves her she's sitting out there looking down at me and i'm sitting out there looking around my surroundings because bitch again i'm in green point i'm in the ghetto i'm scoping out my scene making sure i ain't gotta pop pop nobody you know because i don't know where the fuck i'm at i'm just here for my child i'm just here for my daughter i'm just gonna describe how this couple look he's small he's he's a small regular size 
man. Well, <laughs> he's a small man, okay? And she's maybe an inch or two taller than him, but she's a big girl. Just imagine the number 10. No offense, <laughs> I just had to do the visual. She eventually goes in the house because I guess she realized how long he was taking. And so as she going to the house, some just told me, bitch, walk up the motherfucking stairs because he's taking too motherfucking long and I don't know if he giving her a speech. I don't know if he giving her a talk. I don't know what the fuck going on, but I'm about to walk up these stairs. So I walked up the stairs with my hands in my pocket. I didn't go inside because the door is cracked. So I'm just trying to see if I can hear, bitch. I'm standing near and waiting. And then eventually, maybe like two minutes later, he came out. This motherfucker came out with a trash bag full of books talking about some. Hey, what grade she in? Who you talking about? Who the fuck you talking about, y'all? Nigga, you don't know what grade your child is in? I was like, she's in the third. And he's like, oh, well, I got a bunch of books for her. And I, I want you to, you know, you can take some home to your kids too or whatever. And he was just rambling. Like, he was talking real fast as if he was on some pills, bitch. He didn't seem normal. That's all I'm going to say. He hands me the trash bag full of books. My child comes out. She got a plate of nachos in her hand. He's like, all right, baby girl, I'm going to see you next time. I'm just acting like shit. You know, not giving me an explanation. He knew that I knew something was going on. But again, I didn't know what the fuck it was, but she came out, that was all that matters. I was gonna find out when I got in the car. We walked, you know, to the damn car or whatever. And as I'm walking downstairs, there's a fucking man with a cup of Hennessy look like in his hand. And I say it looked like a cup of Hennessy because the cup was clear and it had a little bit in it. I knew it wasn't apple juice, bitch. He eventually moved or whatever. And as me and the bed walking to the car, I could hear Shoddy in the background talking to him. Like he was talking to him like aggressively as fuck as if he was a drug dealer or something but girl we eventually got to the car pulling off or whatever and i was like son of a what happened and she was like well my daddy and his girlfriend was fighting and he started choking her and so me and my brother got under the covers because we were scared so you doing domestic violence in front of the kids now that's not okay what i was like was the girl fighting him and she was like well she was trying girl you better sit on his ass but she eventually also tells me that that wasn't their first time fighting prior to this visit she spent nights over at his house before like so he choked her before or he put his hands on her before and she was like yeah i'm just like why you ain't tell me and i know couples fight like couples fight whatever but don't do the shit in front of the kids like go in the closet bitch or or, or something like going about bathroom and wobble don't squabble in front of the kids i'm just like dang okay that shit is crazy i'm like are you gonna uh want to go back over there she's like no and i'm just like yikes okay maybe a month or so went down the line and shoddy just randomly texted me like on some casual shit as if nothing ever happened and he was like how baby girl doing same old feel and me she's good she's fine and he asked if he could pick her up or whatever and before i replied to her to him i asked my daughter again because like i said it, time had passed by so i was trying to see if her feelings had changed do you want to go by your daddy house and she's like no and she said a quick the motherfucker so i'm just like yikes okay i'm not gonna make her go somewhere that she don't want to go i told him i was like well the doesn't really feel comfortable going back over there because of what happened last time and it took him probably like two three days to reply he was just like okay no uh, apology no my bad no explanation like i don't give a fuck which i was arguing about but like damn you couldn't at least apologize or at least call to make sure she was okay because you knew why she left like even though like we talked that night whenever i picked her up you knew why the fuck she wanted to leave you knew I, why i was there like even though i was playing stupid and you was playing stupid we knew it took her a long time it took her well it took her a couple months so like i said this happened in february um she ended up talking to her grandma on his side on her dad's side um, probably in August. I didn't hear the conversation. My daughter told me what she said. Her grandma told her that she was gonna get on her dad and um, his girlfriend and make sure they don't be fighting in front of her no more or whatever. And so I guess that made her feel comfortable because at that point she was willing to go back over there because I saw because I asked her, I'm like, okay, so do you wanna go back over there now? Like, what's the tea? And she was like, yeah, I'll go back over there. And I was like, okay like shit long as no mama gonna come up there with a the glock i'm gonna have the glock on me and i'm gonna go <laughs> luckily i didn't have to shoot him but i was willing to let it have been worse than what the fuck it was everything was gonna get sprayed that night she eventually did go back over there everything was fine he still live in the same place everything's fine with me and him you know um, i never had an issue with him like we and him never like well minus the time that and i forgot to mention this to y'all before he ended up going to jail he made arrangements to meet up 
up with her or to, to spend a weekend with her and he ended up not falling through with it and my daughter was really sad about it and she ended up crying and that really upset me so I I did get from a piece of my mind that day but it wasn't even an argument because he took like a week to reply to me again because I don't know who the fuck he think he is really he replied back to me like a week later and was just like my bad something came up or some shit it was real dry fast forward back to what the fuck I was saying girl she's only went over there once since that happened um, cause that was recently. She went over there maybe like in August or September, one of the two. He texted me maybe like twice since then and, um, told me like he just been working crazy hours. He worked overnight. He actually did want to see her like right after Thanksgiving, but we ended up catching COVID so she couldn't go. Um, but then he was like, yeah, I hope y'all feel better or whatever. That's all I have to say, y'all. My head hurt. I gotta go take some Excedrin cause I just talked my lungs out. I ain't talked this much since I had COVID, bitch. So yeah, <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button cause I I didn't tell y'all that in the beginning of the video so hit that motherfucking subscribe button bitch like this video like because y'all don't be liking as much as y'all used to and i don't like that so like this video to show y'all support i'm gonna see y'all my next video peace